yeah, how many times do you use a stud dog before you decide not to use it? So in regards to you've used the dog um, and you've not got puppies, do you go back and use it again or not? So I had a conversation on Friday, a borrow my breeder brain with somebody, um, first litter, um, XL bullies that just went massively wrong um, and it was did the stud have something to do with that or not anyway we agreed it, it wasn't nothing to do with the stud and we looked at how popular that stud has been what he's produced when did he last produce yeah the stud's not the problem so that was just a process of elimination um, but I've been to uh, a Labrador today scanned a Labrador in pup with one um and so i did the bloods for this so they travel far they like must have driven an like hour and 15 minutes or whatever to get to me did two bloods 1.8 and then 17 point whatever bred the next day that's nanograms um anyway had the conversation what's happened uh bitch has got a stricture so the owners did an ai now generally don't want to generalize um, Labrador are old school people um, so the quality of this AI I imagine was interesting um, possibly um, I've seen people reuse the equipment like just like stick it rinse it under the tap and leave it till next time and then they get it all back out again um, so the quality of the AI was questionable in itself um, labs do tend to have quite a lot of strictures as do bulldogs uh, as do a lot of dogs to be honest I think we'll see more and more strictures which is uh, vaginal obstruction we'll see more of those appearing in dogs because before they never would have got bred from where nowadays we just do an AI and we carry on breeding it so we're only going to see more of those uh, yeah sandwich bag and a flexi yeah it was de definitely that not even a clean one um, or a cup it might have even been a cup and a flexi not even not even a fresh sandwich bag um but yeah so the bitch had a stricture generally doesn't make any impacts to them whelping naturally or not um but it's just a little bit of an obstruction that you need to work around then i had the conversation of your stud dog when was your stud dog last used oh he's eight years old right okay so you wasted all this money and all this effort and all this travel to do your bloods on a bitch to literally like to fall over at the last hurdle of actually getting good quality semen into the dog so i said when was the dog last used they're like no no he's used quite frequently okay that's cool has he dropped a litter in the last three months oh i'm not sure basically the stud was a recommendation from the breeder of the bitch so they basically just been following her guidance so I said, well, obviously, my personal recommendation is once a dog hits seven years old, they are regularly fertility tested because they can go off the boil that quick because abnormality rate generally just creeps up quite fast. Um, yeah, some dogs, they could be 10, they could be 11 and still all good. But generally, on an average dog from seven years old, you should still be testing them. And what's that say? I was taught a cuff and a, and a lawnmower hose. Oh my God. <laughs> what have you put a lawnmower hose into? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't even talk about Pat Perkins and some of the old school stuff I've witnessed doing matings with dead pheasants hanging in the garage and all sorts. So um, you've got to learn from these old school people because they do know it. Um, yeah, she had washable stuff as well. Nothing was sterilised um, ever. Not even her fingers, I don't think. Um, Anyway, so that's weird. A Labrador shouldn't be shouldn't be having one puppy with bloods done. Um, gestational measures all all tied in with the blood. So to me, I reckon is either really bad AI um, or the stud dog needs fertility check in, and um, they need to go and do that before they go back and do a repeat breeding if they do a repeat breeding it's actually a maiden bitch as well so that's a whole another conversation about solo puppies um in a litter and whether it's a maiden bitch or she's already um already had litters anyway now i've just went on to scan a um golden retriever i was there last time no pups so anyway i was thinking it's the same bitch that i'm back at. and i think it was over uh was it during lockdown hmm don't know could have been a year could have been six months not quite sure gone back there scanned her empty so i was like all right i kind of remembered the conversation so i said oh um did you do any ovulation testing this time yeah yeah we did bloods with her vet so okay cool did you use a different stud dog we went to 
but the dog we were planning to use wouldn't mate her so we've gone back to the same stud dog okay and you've got no pups so don't bother using that dog again <laughs> uh, generally I would say you use a dog twice um, because like someone else said on here there's so many variables um, even if you blood tested you semen checked you've done everything you should have done the first time and you missed I don't I still probably would do the same again if I really wanted to use that dog and um, because sometimes there's some breeds it just comes down to the bitches mentality and how mature they are or not and um, so I think it is worth going again with the same dog but if you get a miss for a second time man cut your losses and move on to something different and um, yeah it might just come down to they're just not compatible you get it with humans it's no different with dogs you can have incompatible dogs generally that comes down to ph differences and how alkaline and acidic they are internally and all that kind of jazz um so yeah so i need to clock off don't i i'm nearly uh yeah otherwise i'm gonna be late but basically that's the answer to my question how many times should you use a stud dog you use them twice if you don't get pups then you move on to the next thing um yeah you might see patterns if you breed regularly enough with certain lines that don't gel with yours um the only complex breeding i've had on that level i had a bitch uh that took me three years to get in pup never had pups to anyone else apart from this one stud dog then anyway tried to get in pup again with other dogs and she wouldn't conceive to anyone else apart from this other stud dog so i had to go back to the original dog that i used um and to be fair he gave me some decent pups so i can't moan too much um but that's it so if you've got any questions post them up i'll come and have a look afterwards otherwise i'm signing off um this is the experience you get this is the sarah Lamont experience you get when i'm running ahead of time got my bags god i look knackered um uh well also might say like you say ph levels yeah sometimes it's just ph levels and you might be able to um that said if it's you might be able to if it is ph level differences you could spin down the male collection draw off all the third fraction of prostate fluid and pull it with extender like the performance extender and see whether that balances out a bit but um yeah you're still you're still hoping and praying basically and and if that was the case i would do one normal and one that way and um see whether that makes any difference or not um because i know i've done that on sneaky sneaky little things but i can't talk about um but i think that it will definitely change the ph level if you do it that way and that could move it into your favor um yeah you've got loads of questions <laughs> <laughs> certain people certain people have to have a timer um but that's it so this is the benefits of me running ahead of schedule and it being daylight being quite nice weather isn't it for once so um yeah i'm gonna jump off if there are any questions afterwards i'll come and pick them up otherwise see you later